Hi, it's Stacy here from craftaholicmama.blogspot.com and I'm doing a 6x6 paper pad tutorial. Um, I'm using the Simple Stories Vintage Bliss. It is an older collection from 2013, but I needed to make some birthday cards for my uh, stash. So I'm going to use at this point just a half of a paper pad just to show what I'm doing. Right now I'm separating the paper pad into 12. <clears throat> the first eight pages that I tore out are kind of the big main patterns. And then the last four are kind of like the monochromatic that they always have at the back of the pad. And I'm showing you the back where it's just the plain old like notebook paper lines on the back. So um, I'm just kind of deciding on which patterns I want to use here. I'm going to do a very quick layout card and they're all going to be the same as far as layout just different pattern papers I let the pretty paper kind of speak for itself so I'm going to use an A2 card I've already cut some gray mats to match the paper collection and the mat is cut to 5 and 3 8 by 4 and 1 8 now I'm going to cut these bold patterns into five and a quarter by three so I can get two out of each sheet and then I get a little uh, three quarters of an inch strip so I'm going to hang on to those because I'm also going to use those so with every sheet I'm going to cut off to five and a quarter because that's the width of my panel <clears throat> uh, here I'm trying to figure out there I flipped it the right way and each one of these is going to be one and a half inches so I'm going to get four out of these for out of one sheet of paper and I'm using the four monochromatic pages um, the five and a quarter by three is going to be the main top part of the card these mo inch and a half monochromatics are going to be the bottom part of the card and then those little three-quarter inch strips that I have saved off to the side there they're going to be the um, the cute little separating border or belly band not a really a true belly band but um, it's going to be the little strip across the uh, the two pattern papers so I'm going to finish up here cutting the this last monochromatic now I'm going to go back to my main patterns and I'm going to cut again five and a quarter and then flip it to the six inch side and cut it in half at three. So I'm going to get eight cards out of the, or no, I have eight pieces of paper out of the big patterns and so I'm going to get 16 cards. Here I'm trying to decide which way the pattern I should cut off so that there's a nice even uh, pattern on the edges. When I want to get a lot of cards done in a short period of time, this tends to be the the layout that I go to. Here I'm trying to decide if I want to save this piece for cutouts and use it as an embellishment. And I set it aside because I want to think on it some more and finish cutting up here and here I'm counting to make sure I have my 16 and then I have definitely 16 of these because I cut the four pages into four so I originally only had 12 up there the big ones so I need to cut these other two down and I decided to skip the cut aparts and just go with the pretty rainbow stripe all right so now here I have my 16 five and a quarter by three inch my 16 one and a half five and a quarter by one and a half and now I'm cutting down these three quarter inch strips to five and a quarter as I said I pre-cut all my gray base or my gray main layers or my panel to five and three eighths by four and three eighths and I have those ready to go and I have my card bases ready to go I'm going to be four short of these because we started with only 12 pieces of paper and we only cut one of these off of each so I'm going to be four short so I am going to 
um, cut into the other half of the pad and cut a half of a page just to finish these up. So in the end, this paper pad will at least make these 16, but I already cut into one, so it's only going to probably make another 15. So it's going to end up making at least 30 cards out of this whole paper pad. So here I showed you how my layout is on my base gray panel. And now I'm just kind of picking and choosing my patterns to go together. So my layout is a two-thirds, one-third theory, you know, the design principle of thirds. And also three different colors. So we have the bold print in the big piece. We have the medium print in the medium piece. And then we have the monochromatic in the strip. We also can do the monochromatic as the medium piece and then have the strip as the medium pattern. So I'm just going through and picking and choosing what I want to do and getting them set aside. Um, this whole half a paper pad only took me 19 minutes to assemble all the different cards. Um, that's not including the die cutting that I did for the oval, the decorative ovals that I'm going to show you here in a bit. And that doesn't include cutting my base cards or those gray panels. But those don't take very much. It's just cutting. So probably add another 10 or 15 minutes onto this 20 minutes that I filmed. So I would say you can easily use this pattern or this tutorial and go through a whole 24 sheet paper pad in less than an hour and get at least 30 cards. Which is pretty good. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, there are other 6x6 paper pad tutorials out there using sketches and stuff like that where you only make like four cards from the sketch and you make several different sketches of the paper pad and they take a lot longer to do. Um, this is a lot simpler. It's a lot easier. They, I think they still look cute. It's letting the paper, the pretty paper and the patterns do all the talking versus fancy layouts and sketches. And they're just nice, pretty, simple cards. And if you need to get a bunch done, or if you want to package up, you know, a half a dozen or a dozen and give them as gifts, then they all match. And you can do um, the same sentiment or a different sentiment. With this paper pad, I needed birthday cards, like, really bad. I was getting really low on paper pads. Here I'm showing you that I'm using this Happy Birthday stamp from this Avery Yell Skating By stamp set. The rosy colored oval there is from a die that I purchased off of an app called Wish and they have some really inexpensive dies on there. I think I only spent a, a dollar on this die and it actually has two dies. It's got a smaller one that matches um, and I only spent a, I believe a dollar on it and then a dollar to ship it. But it does come from China, so it does take a little longer to get here. But you can't beat the price. So I'm pulling out some strands of pearls. I always like to have something up in that upper left hand corner to kind of bring the card all together. So in this case, I'm using uh, strips of pearls. In other times, I've used Nouveau crystal drops or rhinestones or so there that's I'm showing you what my cards will end up looking like and this is the layout that I'm using and I will end up getting 30 plus cards out of this pack here's some close-ups of the cards and the pretty patterns and I want to thank everybody by for stopping by and uh, checking out this video and I hope you try this really easy tutorial and uh, use up your paper pads.
Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.